Hey, I won't lie. I won't lie. I'm only here to be nosy. <laughs> I'm only here to be nosy. I'm gonna be real. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me, let me, let me, let me. Let me lower this down, bro. You see, right? You see that right there? That was the original Sticks and Stones. I don't know if it was the beat that they switched. I don't know if it was the verse that they switched. But that one's that one was the one that was supposed to drop. So listen, academics reveal some of the conversation he had with Drake after Kendrick's verse. I'm only here to be nosy, bro. I'm only here to be nosy. So we gonna see. We gonna see. What I don't fuck with. What I ain't been fucking with as of late when it comes to academics. Is he's been he's been meat riding Drake a little too much, bro. A little too much. Bro, Drake ain't scared. Why you think Drake? Yo, it's crazy. I think Drake is scared, bro. It's exactly. crazy. Yo, on my mom, act on my mommy. I feel like you know your. You feel like damn, my nigga Drake got some bitch ass nigga no, shit right now. No, I, I know you do. No, you I can't lie. Nah. Bro, 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 bro. I'm yo. I literally. But the meaner I'm talking to the nigga, he's telling me that he wanted to, bro. I promise you. All right, come I, on, well, come on, bro. I, I, you eat in your mic. You eat in your mic. Ask, actually, okay. I, you want me to give you some real shit? You want me to give you some real shit? Give me some real shit. I, I actually got drunk like while I was. Remember, I, I streamed on Thursday night to see if they were gonna this like Kendrick was gonna be on the second version. All right. I actually remember yeah. I told you I hit Drake to ask him. He actually did respond. My stupid ass never checked my phone. I'll tell you exactly what he said, nigga. Let me know. I'll tell Keep you, it real, right? Let now, me man. know. Nigga, I'll tell you exactly what he said. Let me know. Um, I said, this is Thursday off. night. I said, this is Thursday night. And by the way, I talked about this on the Joe Bun podcast. And I think he sneaked this, Joe, when he said this to me. I hope I'm not putting out too much. I said, I said, I said, Drake, you dropping something tonight or are you playing it by ear? That nigga says, ready and waited. He says, I'm tired of all these bluffing podcasts <laughs> calling, calling this nigga. He got to show me smoke and and show me smoke for me and only me. And I'm right there. He's been telling me this for two weeks. He ain't never said that's how he's talking. See, but that's the, that's the energy. That's the energy a nigga won't, bro. By the way, by the way, that's the energy I heard on his track. I didn't hear a nigga be like, oh, you sure you want to do this? Yo, did you just hear that? Hold on, hold on. Pay attention to the noise academics just made when he inhaled. That's the energy I heard on this track. I didn't God damn, like, bro, you got mad phlegm in there. You got mad phlegm right here. You got mad phlegm. You got to spit that shit out, bro. All that Hennessy, bro. All that Hennessy getting stuck right here. That's the energy a nigga won't, bro. By the way, by the way, that's the energy I heard on this track. I didn't hear a nigga be like, oh, you sure you want to do this, Kendrick? We can fuck up our deals. He basically said, fuck you. You a bitch. What's up? I like that. I like that. I mean, yeah, but you got to understand, bro. This is already a back and forth that's been going on for 10 years, bro. 10 years. 2013. 2012. Matter of fact, I'm going to say 2013. I'm going to say 2013 because the control verse was when everything started, bro. The control verse was really when everything started. Kendrick name dropped everybody, and out of everybody he name dropped, Drake is the only motherfucker that stood, that stood like, you feel me? He's the only one out of everybody that Kendrick name dropped that he really felt some type of way about, and he held on to that shit for some reason. It seemed very opportunistic on Drake's side, bruh. It seemed as though Drake already felt some type of way towards Kendrick, and he was already he was waiting for the right opportunity. Kendrick gave him one, and now he just hasn't let that shit go. He just hasn't let that shit go. You listen, you cannot tell me that Drake has been running from Kendrick for 10 plus years, and now, 10 years later, 11 years later, is that he's deciding to finally fucking do it. Like, come on, bro. You get no respect for that. I understand that he finally went out there. He finally put out a diss record. Finally replied to Kendrick. You feel me? But come on, bro. It's been 10 plus years, bro. It's been 10 plus years. This nigga Kendrick been killed them, bro. He been killed them. Come on. I like it. Fuck but you know, but you know, he been bro, running. Know that you know that he been ain't running. For that life. What? But you know, but you know, but I already know that you know that track ain't hard enough for Kendrick. It's life. not. It's not. Exactly. It's really bro, not. You know and another thing I heard, 
Another thing I heard is that that drop and give me 50 shit was like a split type of thing where like top dog gets 50 percent first off this is what you gotta understand bro in that diss record drake was basically on some shit like whatever i don't know if that split 50 percent shit top dog gets 50 percent of whatever kendrick was making i don't know if that shit is real i don't know if that's what he meant by the drop and give me 50 what i do know is that he was basically trying to be on some shit like whatever top dog tells kendrick to do kendrick runs along and does it and it's like bro Top Dog isn't just a motherfucker that Kendrick don't know. This ain't a motherfucker that he met soon as he got popping. This ain't a motherfucker that he signed to when he dropped Good Kid Mad City or after he dropped Good Kid Mad City. Top Dog is a motherfucker that Kendrick has been with. TDE is a label that Kendrick has been with since he was like 16 years old, bro. 16, 17, 18 years old. Hub City Threat, Minor of the Year, Training Day. He came up with him. He came up with him. J-Rock was the first rapper under TDE. Then came along Kendrick. Then came along Schoolboy, Abso, all of them. But bro, like you can't be saying this. You can't be saying this about two people who's like, who's like really like connecting, you know, since teenagers for years. Come on, bro. You can't do that, bro. Can't, like, come on, bro. Dre, he. Yo, this is the track he got to drop to beg Kendrick to drop. Yo, what? I'm gonna read again. I'm reading exact conversations. Are you dropping tonight? Are you playing it by ear? He said, bro, I'm ready and waiting. This is Thursday night. I'm bro, tired of these bluffing the podcasts. This is the warm up. That's the warm up track. I'm telling you, that's the yeah. warm up track. He's like, what's a warm up? What's a warm up track when I already gave you the hot yeah. shit, nigga? Fuck you, bro. Why are you warming up? Yo, light, no, nigga. Yeah, fuck that warm up shit, bro. Like he did the same shit with Charged Up, mind you. He ain't even. Did he even release Charged Up? I think. I think back in 2013 or whenever the fuck back to back dropped, 2015. Didn't he have like an Apple Music shit and Charged Up dropped on his Apple Music? fucking radio or some shit fuck you mean a warm-up bro what is you warming up for and why is niggas just leaking shit and that one thing that people just trying to run with is that kendrick has a fucking ghost rider bro like they really trying to like push that they trying hard like hey, that God, is God, God gave him a couple of lines and Drake rebuttal back. Look at academics. Look at academics, bro. It's like anything that anybody says that goes against Drake a little bit, he's ready to crash out. Look at this small fucker. Oh, nigga. Like hey, that God, is. God, God gave him a couple of lines. <laughs> and Drake rebuttal back. He let and, you know, like, he's ready to get into the ring. Now, the real we, game begins. Bro, bro. the ring. Let's do it. Bro, hey, but bro. is it respected, though, that, like, mad niggas had to, like, strategically team up to get at this nigga? Wait, yeah, what? Just, you know that like mad niggas had to like strategically team up to get at this nigga. Yeah, that's just nigga, when you're number one, they're trying to take the motherfucker down. Of course, he's number yeah, one. Yeah, when you team up with one. mad niggas to do it though, like AD, you respect that? You respect Kendrick teaming up with niggas to take down Drake? Kendrick ain't teaming up Drake. with them niggas, bro. He on his own. Yeah, he ain't teaming up with nobody just because he did that feature. Just because he did that feature, he's teaming up. He ain't teaming up. What? Maybe he just used that feature as a way to like, you feel me? But it ain't like he's about to, uh, hopefully Kendrick don't make the diss track. He'll, hopefully he don't reply to Drake with like features and shit. Hopefully he has like his own diss track. Like on some, yo bro, I need a heart part six, bro. I need a heart part six. If you were, if Kendrick was talking how he was talking in the heart part four, I need a heart part six, bro. Come on, yo. Come on. Yo, it's like, it's like Kendrick put out Mr. Moran with the big steppers. Kendrick fucking... Take, be taking the breaks that he be taking, the amount of time that he be taking, he be disappearing, and it's like motherfuckers just forgot. Motherfuckers just forget. Are you crazy? Yo, niggas must not know, bro. Man, motherfuckers forgot, bro. Motherfuckers forgot about Kendrick. They don't know what he could do. You tripping, bro. You tripping. Honestly. I reacted to that Drake shit and listen, I still think it's fire. It is a good song. But as far as a diss, no, bro. No. Like you gotta nigga, this is Kendrick quit talking. <laughs> oh 
Oh my everybody God. else is like, nigga. But how they hey, got look. an album where everybody just strategically dissing this nigga? So it's like, he a part of the team. That with me. I just dropped my part in it. Yo, chat. That's not me. Word, that's what I said. He, I just dropped my part in it. And reiterate to y'all, because I don't want T-Rail, AD, Kendrick, Inter, and nobody else make this not clear. No, but no, 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 no. And this is also you got something you got to understand about the beef. Kendrick and Drake, this been a thing. This been a thing between them. That future Drake shit, that's a brand new thing. Because Drake and Future just had a hit record. They made a whole collab album. They was just fucking with each other. They just made Life Is Good. That shit was not so long ago. That What, three, two years ago? They was just fucking with each other. This is a brand new thing between them. Metro Boomin and Drake, this is a brand new thing between them. Drake and Rick Ross, this is a brand new thing between them. Drake and Kendrick? Bro, Kendrick don't gotta team up with nobody. This is a 10-year thing between them, bro. A 10-year thing. He don't and Kendrick been getting him out of here. For 10 years straight, Kendrick has been getting him hot out of here. You see, and that's the problem with like motherfuckers being stuck in the moment. It's like a momentarily type of thing. It's like one thing happens right now, and now everything else that happened in the past, motherfuckers just forgot about it. Motherfuckers just forgot about it. You can't do that, bro. You can't do that. You can't say that Drake is winning the battle right now just because just because he dropped one diss track. Meanwhile, he's been running for 10 fucking years from this motherfucker. Come on, bro. You can't do that. Hell no. Hell no. If motherfuckers want to forget about what, what done happened in the past, cool. They can do that. I'm not going to forget, though. <laughs> I'm not going to forget at all. I've talked to Drake and his energy not one time, not a couple times. It's been every time. I'm ready and waiting, and he got so fucking tired of being ready and waiting, he realized Kendrick seen pussy, he dropped first. Let's talk about it. I mean, I, yo. Let's talk about it. Wait, what the fuck is... Yo, you see my face right now, bro. What the fuck is he talking about? It's like, I, I can't... I'm gonna rewind it, because I can't really hear over the yelling. Fucking tired of being ready and waiting, he realized Kendrick seen pussy, he dropped first. Let's talk about about it. Yo, I'm glad he just pulled out that bottle again because I was just about to ask, did this motherfucker this yo bro, this motherfucker just finished a bottle on stream and he's still drinking out of it. Meanwhile the bottle was empty. The bottle's empty, Eck. You're drinking air. Drop. He's trying to get the very last drop of that fucking bottle. There's nothing in there. You out of your fucking mind, nigga. Yo, hold on, hold on. Wait, wait, wait. Yo. Okay, yo, AD, 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 AD. Yo, AD, you and T-Rell, I want you to answer this question. All right. If Kendrick... No, no. What's up? Hold on. If, if, if Drake didn't drop today... Be honest, be honest with yourselves in your heart. Do you think that Kendrick would have dropped anything? He would have just rolled no. into the sunset. Oh, no, 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 I think no. Kendrick would have dropped in the next three days, 72 hours. Lies, Lies. No, no. Lies. I think Wait, what? Went crazy. Lies. He went crazy. would have dropped it today. Yeah. Be honest, be honest with yourselves. Yeah. If, if, if Drake didn't drop today, yeah. if he didn't be honest, drop. be honest with yourselves in your heart. Do you think that Kendrick would have dropped anything? He would have just rolled no. into the sunset. Uh. No. Three days, no. I wouldn't say three days, but he was definitely gonna drop something. I don't know how long it was gonna take. This month, May, June, I don't know. But he definitely, if Drake never dropped anything, Kendrick was gonna drop something. I don't know what it, bro. Kendrick gotta drop an album, bro. He gotta drop an album. He gotta drop something. Yo, niggas is gonna light a fire under Kendrick. Bro, there is, I promise you, bro. I promise you, bro. I promise you. There is a reason why these motherfuckers have always ran from Kendrick. Drake ran from him. Jay Electronica ran from him. Big Sean ran from him. All of these motherfuckers have ran from Kendrick. Kendrick killed Jay-Z. He killed Jay-Z on the Bitch Don't Kill My Vibe remix. Now, granted, I'll, I'll also be the first to admit, you know, poetic justice, shit like that. Drake got that over Kendrick. Drake got that over Kendrick, you know? But it's like, 
that's cool. That's cool. You feel me? Two hours. Nah, oh, even man. now, I don't fuck with, bro. Even now, I don't fuck with. Lies. I think, I think, think went crazy. Lies. A lot of people. Yeah, nah, three days now. Nah. They, they didn't think Drake was gonna drop. I knew he was gonna drop something. Everybody was like, he's not about to drop. He don't want it with Dot. This is what this is what niggas. This is what I'm hearing. You feel me? So I said, I know. I know he's gonna drop something. Both Honestly, of niggas no, but nigga, both things can be true. He don't want it with Dot, but he was still gonna drop. It's like, bro, at this point, especially the way social media is now. Nigga, within the past 10 years, Drake could have gotten away with running. All right, cool. With the way shit is now, Drake cannot run, bro. Drake cannot run. He has to reply. He was he is forced to reply. Now, academics, hold on. Hold on. I know I'm not speaking to you, but now I got a question for you. If Drake was to make the decision right now, if he was if he had the choice. Two pills, red pill, blue pill. If he had to make a decision, first decision, battle Kendrick. Go head to head with Kendrick. Go on a back and forth, this record's back and forth with Kendrick. First choice. Or, second choice, just, that shit doesn't exist. There's no back and forth, there's no beef, there's no nothing. Just leave it alone, shit don't exist. Which one do you think he'll choose, nigga? Which one do you think he'll choose? You think Drake would choose to go back and forth with Kendrick? D this records back and forth with Kendrick? No, motherfucker. No. If he had to choose, he would not. He does not want to be for Kendrick, bro. He don't want to be for Kendrick. It just got to the point the same way that J. Cole was saying how motherfuckers was peer pressuring him to make the seven minute drill shit is the same shit with Drake. It's like, bro, he's being forced to do this shit. He genuinely does not want to do this shit. He doesn't. Yeah, he replied. Cool, he was going to. Shit was going to happen eventually. He has to. He has to. But, bro, everything from when the Like That verse dropped, everything that Drake was doing, bro, that shit told me everything I had to know. Him being in his feelings on stage, him throwing shots on his Instagram story, Instagram captions. Like, come on, bro, that's truly how he feels. That's truly how he feels. That this record was going to come, it was inevitable, bro. It was inevitable. He was gonna reply for a fact, but he don't want to do that shit. If he had the choice, he wouldn't do none of this shit. But it's here. It's fucking here. And now he has to stick through with it. Ready to get into the ring. I told that nigga Drake was going to drop a project from him. You gotta come back to the states. Them niggas in London ain't. Bro, yo, 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 hold on, hold on. No, you just said something that was actually dope. This is why another reason I just want to point out to y'all that my goat, he a squabbler. My nigga, first of all, this song is going to be the biggest song. And by the way, there was rumors that he don't fuck with Metro. So he, that he might have dropped this song on the night that Dre, that, that, that um, um, Metro dropped. Just to Ooh, step hold on. I just opened my Instagram. I just opened my Instagram. The CJ Francis motherfucker is the motherfucker whose people's claiming is Kendrick's ghostwriter. This is what Academics just said. Spoke because he was also saying that he wrote for Roddy Rich. Academic says, and I quote, spoke with Roddy Rich. According to him, CJ Francis is a complete fraud. Roddy was open to collaborate with others for his Feed the Streets 3 about two years ago. Yo, this nigga Academics be drunk even in his tweets. What am I reading? I'm going to tell you exactly what it says. <laughs> Roddy was open to collaborate with others for his Feed the Streets 2 about two years ago project. And basically this dude, what is you talking about, bro? All right, hold on. Collaborate with others for his Feed the Streets 3 project about two years ago. And basically this dude, he never met and no songs ever got put out that he collabed on. The voice note that got released was Roddy checking him two years ago for claiming he was writing for Roddy Rich. So come on, bruh. Come on. Look, look, look. This is what, this is what a motherfucker commented. CJ has rapped on 10 plus instrumental remakes of popular songs and goes around acting like they're reference tracks. He been clout chasing off that for about five years now. 808 Mafia. Roddy overly records off the top. I got over a hundred songs that I was there for. No pen, no no pen, no pen, no nothing. Album on the way. Come on, bro. Like this, this is exactly what I mean. Like that that ghostwriting shit. 
I, and I, yo, bro, that's crazy. All these years, I bet you that was some Drake shit right there, bro. Yo, I bet you that, I bet any amount of money. I don't know for a fact, but I know for a fact. I bet you that was some Drake shit. I bet you Drake found the motherfucker, paid a motherfucker. Bro, Drake got the power to do that shit. To start up a rumor, to start a rumor, start a lie. Come on, bro. Come on. Trying to say Kendrick got a ghostwriter. Drake, yo, Drake, you the only motherfucker that got exposed for that shit. Don't be trying to get other motherfuckers caught up in that shit as well. No. That's just you. That's just you. Just chill. Come on. Don't be trying to... Come on, bro. Don't be trying to play like that, bro. Ghostwriter. You tripping. That whole release. When Meanwhile, Kendrick is the first motherfucker talking about... um, But a rapper with a ghostwriter. What the fuck happened? Come on, bro. You tripping. You tripping. I've been with that shit was kept. Drake drop one song, you drop an album. Fuck your one song. We talking about Drake song. We all know what it is. Stop playing. Wait, what? That, that, that um, um, Metro drop just to step on that whole release. Drake drop one song, you drop an album. Fuck your one song. We talking about Drake song. We all know what it is. Stop playing. Here's <laughs> the thing. This is how, and that's what I'm saying. He's a squabbler. He's not thinking about, oh, I could make 10 million off this. Fuck. Shit is going to end. Oh, and by the way, there was rumors that... He don't fuck with Metro, so he, that he might have dropped this song on the night that Drake that, that that um um Metro dropped just to step on that whole release. Drake dropped one song, you drop an album. Fuck your one song. We talk about Drake song. We all know what it is. Stop playing. Here's the <laughs> thing. This is how, and that's what I'm saying. He's a squabbler. He's not thinking about oh I could make ten million off this. Hold on. Academics calls Joe Budden after dropping Rick Ross track, Rick Ross response track to Drake. Yo, yo, hold on, hold on. You tripping, bro. I don't get ads on my shit. I don't get ads on my shit. Don't ever do that shit again. You, yeah, don't ever do that shit again. Because I know I, I did a pile with Joe. It's going to be on his Patreon. Joe, I know. Hey, Joe. Joe, I know your heart is gonna hurt over what. Oh. Wow. Hello. I I'm here. I'm here. I'm here. Wow. He responded. I, I heard that. He responded in two hours. Damn. I told you. I know you wasn't I outside, told you. but this is what it used to feel like. And congratulations on you being the mixtape right now. You're the mixtape. You're the DJ Clue right now, today. <laughs> Thanks. Holy shit. I don't know what to say. I was so glad to go I bet you I'll make this right now. You see that green bag? I bet you I'll make this. Four days to Fuck, I got that shit full, too. That shit full. This is fucking World War Fuck. III. I usually make it, bro. While Iran and Israel is doing this, is I'm just home trying to be safe and protected. What the fuck? Yo, Joe, if you tell me you got a diss track about a add on to the mix, yo, Ross really responded in two hours. Word. Yeah, but did you hear what he said? I'm trying to yeah. process it. Are we talking about the outro or the actual bars? The second verse into the outro. Second verse into the outro. Holy shit. I said that it was going to get like this when Ross jumped into this. Did, did you hear like, the French Montana tea? Yes, nigga. I'm, I'm on your <laughs> stream. Fucking, you know, you just the only nigga streaming for 97 hours. I told you to be the man. <laughs> no. Yo, Joe, fuck that. Hey, the, the pod we did yesterday was classic, but I might have to come back in again. We might have to just do it again before the week is over. It's going down. Yo, I saw Elliot say that, that we got together too soon, but I think that makes it more classic than what we did. But we might have to get together again because I, I think something else drops before I get back to work. Nah. Nigga, I was going to drive to your studio. I don't I don't know what to do with myself. <laughs> I'm lost. Nah, sign ain't going to drop. Yo, I'm, yeah, I think sign could. Listen, it's already Sunday. I'm recording this Sunday night. Look outside. It's raining. It's raining in NYC right now. 
I'm recording this Sunday night. Y'all gonna see this Monday afternoon. Monday afternoon, April 15th. You think something is gonna drop between Monday, April 15th through Friday, April... How many days is that? I don't know. I fucking failed math, bro. You think something gonna drop this week? Nah. Nah. Son, gotta drop this week. Crazy. Some crazy shit gonna happen this week. I don't know who it's gonna come from. Hey, when you told me, when you said the thing that hurts the most out of this is that Drake and Ross might not be doing records together, I trivialized that to be like, it's not that deep. They'll be back. I talked about it earlier. I said, ah, they'll be, you know, we've seen little moments where it might have been like a little, little flare up, but they'll be fine. This looks, Dog, bruh. This is Rick Ross. If Meek saying, and Drake could piece it up. Oh man, this is Rick Ross saying, "We all made you. Dang. Now we all like me and us." Yes. Like, no, I, I rap get it. a lot and fucking all the people that just stamped Drake and Wayne and Baby and Houston and. You got a nose job. You don't want to be black. You don't. Dog, that was cap. That was cap. I don't care. I don't <laughs> care if it was cap because we know that Drake got some other procedures done. So I mean, it's still funny. But the point is this: if Ross is taking, why you don't got that energy with Joe though? Why you don't got that energy? Yeah, academics be knowing who the fuck you feel me. Come on, bro. Don't be picking and choosing like that, bro. Angle, man, man, man. When, when that when dot come, <laughs> oh my god, this is about to be crazy. Word, I'm excited, bro. I'm come, excited, bro. I'm, I'm excited, bro. Like, Let's get it. But when dot come, I'm telling you, I'm not saying nothing about Drake because I got to go to work next week, and that was a jab, so I'm not gonna judge it. That was a jab. I told you yesterday, yo, don't not be right. I told you yesterday when you was talking that OVO shit. I said. <laughs> If you if Drake really want Doc niggas, to come yo out, yo nah niggas really tried to push that ghostwriting shit though. Then you gotta get that's him out. wild. Jab him out, and that's exactly what he did. He's jabbing him out. I I, I gotta give him a plus five for this. I feel like we we, we can't start potting on here, especially I feel like anytime me and you do content, it, it can't be a stream. It has to be. I'm it, blown away. I don't know what to do. It, it, you know, it, it, it got to be almost damn near uh, um, Patreon worthy. Like, th th this is some. Hey, apparently I'm the only one with the record. Um, I'm going to play it. I'm, I'm going to send it to you, actually. Um, they'll be fine if I send it to you. I'm, I'm going to send it to you, but I'm going to play it again. I, I am flabbergasted. Nah, this is crazy. This is crazy. Yo, come back Tuesday. 90 minutes, real quick. No, <laughs> real it's quick. happening. In and, <laughs> in, and, in and out like a robbery. We they just it. recorded some <laughs> shit it's together. Uh, I'm, I'm in. Sh Yo, I'm gonna be honest with you. I'm also impressed by Ross, how quickly he has chosen to respond. Nigga, Ross is from that era, bro. Ross is from that era. 05, 06, 07. He already beefed the fucking bird, man. He beefed with Birdman already. Birdman, Drake, Young Money, Cash Money, come on, bro. Family ties, right there. Now he beefing with Drake. And I already saw on Academics page that Birdman posted some shit talking about some. He's on. He's on fucking Drake's side, no matter what happens. Would My you outside? Would you outside for Ross versus Fifty? Of course. Ross versus Fifty as well. I, I know how he gave it up then, but his career was in limbo. Nigga, it don't matter. He is from that era. He's from that era. Replying in an hour or two, that's where he comes from. Uh, of course, of course, this is like a big thing to academics because it's like academics, of course, is older than me, but I'm still aware. Like, I'm still a student of hip hop. So I understand how shit used to be back then. Even though I didn't live through it, I still know how long it took for certain shit to happen. For example, when Jay Z and Nas was beefing, Jay Z dropped, um. What's that shit called, bruh? What was the Nas fucking diss that Jay Z dropped? I don't fucking know, but you know how long it took Nas to drop Ether? Takeover. When Jay Z dropped Takeover, you know how long it took Nas to drop Ether? Six fucking months. It took him six fucking months. 
I don't know if it was six months exactly, but it took him months to drop Ether. And then, lo and behold, as far as the two disses, Takeover was the better song, but Ether was the better diss. Come on, bro. Ether was the better diss. Yeah, so now imagine him now uh, eight figures up. Also, here's the thing, too. When I listen to, and again, I feel like we're about to start a pod. Hey, when I listen to Drake, Drake kind of did trivialize a lot of these issues to, yeah, it's because it's because a girl, and this guy is saying, no, 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 no. That's not what it is. This is probably the first time we've we're hearing allegedly why these guys are feeling why? the way they're feeling. Well, why? I have no idea why Metro feels the way he does. I mean, I think we assume why Weekend feels the way he does. We don't know about future. ASAP Rocky seems to be kind of obvious and evident. <laughs> but all these guys, we're, we're thinking, did Drake just fuck all you, all you niggas girls? Or are there actual things? And Bro, it got to be something deeper than that, bro. Because, bro, these are some rich-ass motherfuckers, bro. Bro, you not about to tell me that all these rich motherfuckers. Bro, we're talking about Rick Ross. Future. The weekend, bro. These motherfuckers could have a new bitch like that way better than the bitch they fucking with, bro. You know how many bitches they are in the fucking world. That's what I be trying to tell myself when I be over here in my feelings about a bitch that is like, bro. You know how many bitches they are. Like, and I'm over here worried about, huh? Come on. And these motherfuckers is rich. They could get them like that. This shit is deeper than just a girl, bro. Hell no. Hell no. But Ross is kind of. No, nigga, that's, listen, it's just easy to trivialize it with, oh, it's a girl, this nigga fucked your girl, this nigga fucked your girl. No. Most of the niggas we talking about been around the block enough to where if you fuck the girl, it don't really matter, nigga, she's for the streets. Exactly. But nobody's ever really come out to say what the behind the scenes moves are that, that, that Drake does that pisses niggas off because he's always been too powerful. And that's the fucked up part, bro. That's the fucked up part. Like, come on, bruh. And, yo, bro, I'm not gonna lie. I could just look, I could just look at Drake and tell that he be doing little petty shit, bro. He be doing little petty shit. I don't know if he be like, I don't know if it's a money thing. I don't know if it's a splits thing. I don't know. I don't know what the fuck it is. But this motherfucker be doing something, bro. And it does not have to do with no bitches. It has zero to do with no bitches, bro. Come on. Come on. Now, is it a possibility that Drake may have hit the same bitches they may have fucked each other's? Of course, bro. Of course. But that ain't where this shit stems from, bro. It's deeper than that. That's why it's a big deal that it's the field coming at him. Because hey. there is no one person strong enough to, to come at him. What, 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 Nigga, Kendrick is. When you, Kendrick been doing it. Uh, you, know, you know, we talked about this privately before we, 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 we hopped on, on the pod. And you said a reason. And I was like, nah, I don't think that's what it is. I think it's just girls. And and you're like, nah, it got to be more than girls. When I hear Ross on the track says, hey, listen, the reasons I'm mad at you is because you sent a cease nah, and desist to my also. dog and you did A, B, and C, which are, these are things that affect business and commerce. I'm like, oh, maybe it is deeper than I'm thinking it is. Cease and desist? Nigga, that is crazy, bro. It's because way deeper. Cause I'm thinking, yo, I don't know. Rick Ross's girl probably like Drake music more than Rick Ross. I don't know. Oh, nobody cares about that. Word, nobody like, cares. what is you talking about? This is way deeper than that. I'm telling I'll just you. Get all of these fucking eight-figure people because of some be fucking this, girl to feel this way at the same time without it being deeper than that. It's not women. It's well, not women. It may, it may be some women and mutually, but that ain't, ain't. What I just said. It may have happened, but that's not where this shit stems from. Hell no. I'm gonna be honest with you. This did this did break my heart. This did break my heart. Jesus. Uh, no, hey, that was nuts. Hey, when could? And by the way, everybody who's watching this, man. Um, listen, I keep telling y'all, man, the Spider Man meme. When it look when it, when it comes to hip hop, rap conversations, we are at the time where shit is happening. Um, if you're not if you're not tuning into my platform, you should be tuning into the Joe Bun podcast. These are people, 
just like Joe and I were passionate about hip hop, yeah, of course we get into bullshit at times, but this is where we shine. This is why Everyday Struggle was great and everything else. Joe, when when is the episode we did coming out? Uh, Monday. Okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm glad that he brought up that passion shit because, bro, I had motherfuckers in my comments in my last video talking shit just because I'm over here on camera saying whatever the fuck I'm saying. Bro, if you want to debate, if you want to go back and forth about whatever the fuck the topic is, cool, we can do that. But don't become, like, nigga, it's a reaction video. Maybe I haven't... Like, come on, bro. Academics be on camera reacting the way he be reacting, but he understands that he is a fucking public figure. He has to entertain. At the end of the day, when it comes to reality, like actual real life shit, no academics does not give a fuck about what Drake is doing. Drake, whatever Drake does does not personally affect him in real life. No, it doesn't. This is all like a, just like a character. You feel me? When I'm in front of this camera and I be saying certain shit that I say, bro, it's only for the camera. It's only to entertain. I got motherfuckers over here just talking shit. Like, get the fuck from my, my comment section. Okay. Fuck Please wrong with them, bro. On Patreon. Everybody, go check out Joe Budden, his podcast. Please go check it on Patreon. We're having, it's actually a fire episode. I had to flame him up. I really think I, I dominated that room that day. And, 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 I you think did, I dominated the room, and I think I dominated the room with you allowing me to do it because in the heated debates we've had historically, you allowed me to go back and forth with your co-host rather than you do your normal antics to try to get the, 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 the edge up on that. But regardless, anyway, people, go check that out Monday, Joe Bun Podcast. Go check out his Patreon. It's going to be an amazing episode, and to keep it real, from what, what I'm seeing, we might have to go do another one because I ain't going to lie to you. Uh... This is fucking crazy. I, I, like, I'm, I'm in shock. Run it back. I'm gonna send you again, nigga. I'm gonna send you the record, and I'm running it back right now. Love, Joe. Fuck. Maybach music. Fish tanks and big and bad. Yo, it's just yo, bro. It's something about that Maybach music drop. That shit just gets me, I bro. Love Joe. Music. Fish tanks and marble floors living big and bad. Chill, 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 chill. That, I play too much, bro. I play too much. Come on, motherfuckers is going to try to fucking copyright my shit. Come on, bro. I'm going to end this video right here, bro. I'm going to end this shit right here, bro. This shit is crazy, bro. Come on. I feel like sun is going to drop, bro. I feel like sun is going to drop. Come on. Sun is going to drop. I always knew there's no way this shit has to be about women, bro. Drake is out here behind the scenes doing some petty shit, pulling strings. He's doing some fucked up shit, bro. He's doing some fucked up shit. Yo, this, if he's out here sending cease and desist, bro, Drake gotta be doing like some police shit, bro. He gotta be doing, he gotta be doing something. We gonna, we gonna see, bro. And I'm gonna be right here to react to it all. To react to it all. You feel me? My past two reactions, I ain't gonna lie. I, haven't, I ain't have the most energy. I ain't have the most energy. I ain't have the most, you feel me? I, you know, shit just happens. Shit just happens. Everybody going through life right now. We just trying to, we all trying to figure shit out, bro. It is what it is. You feel me? But we back up in here, bro. We back up in here, bro. We going we gonna to continue dropping this video, dro dropping these videos, these reactions, this, these content. Come on, bro. I can, I can barely even speak. My pronunciation is off today. I just came back from playing ball. Niggas was on the court trying to talk shit. Yo, bro. And I was in Yonkers, too. I was in Yonkers. I ain't from Yonkers. I'm from the fucking Bronx. Mad niggas around. And it's like, that ain't my territory. That ain't my territory. <laughs> so, you feel me? Respect, bro. Like, go ahead. Pop your shit. Whatever the case may be. I do one little thing. Niggas is like, it is what it is, bro. You gotta, you feel me? Niggas can't, niggas can't be out here crashing out, bro. Can't be out here crashing out. Sometimes you just gotta, you feel me? It is what it is. Niggas ain't gonna bitch me. But sometimes you just gotta, you feel me? It is what it is. Now, if, if I do something to you, 
then all these motherfuckers are going to try to get on me. All right, bro. You got to read the room. You got to read the room. It's all good, though. I'll be back there. I'll definitely be back there because me and my man Vix, we be playing fucking, we be playing bowl over there. So I'm definitely pulling up again. You feel me? And I'm going to definitely see that motherfucker again. And who knows what's going to happen. Who knows? Let's see if he going to have that energy again. Let's see if he going to have that energy again. That's the end of this video right here. Like, comment, subscribe. Let me know down below what you want to see me react to next. Follow me on IG. The links is down below in the description and right here on the side at Rose A5. And I'm going to see y'all in the next video, bruh. I'm a holla at y'all.